Fakers, liars, and stolen valor idiots. Let's go. The improper way to be wearing a uniform. Got your beret on with the flash, no unit crest, no nothing on it. Your French Fort is all jacked up. Uniforms all wrinkly. You don't need to take pictures of it, just go away from me. I'm not saying Maybe he pulled an all nighter and just rolled out of the sack after he was with a couple strippers. What do you guys think? May just be a stud, right? Old timer getting some hangover cure. Pictures, I'm taking a video. This is going on stolen valor. <laughs> you know it's a federal crime, right? Yeah, it is. But I ain't doing this for uh, proof that I'm in the army. So what are you doing it for? All right, so he's not doing it to prove he's in the army, but he's wearing an army uniform. So I bet he's looking for the discount at the grocery store, probably at Walmart, wherever he's at. Put that in the comments. Discount or mental patient or both? You got a VA card? Uh, no. Uh -uh. Man, get me off video. Hold on. What is it with these guys and these VA cards? You know, not everybody's going to have one. Let's say you don't go to the VA. But every one of these guys asks for a VA car or a cat car, whatever the hell that is. I want to see if you got one of these. Oh, boy, here we go. See it right there? Department of Veteran Affairs, U.S. Veteran, Alpha Battery, 4320, Field Artillery, 4th Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division. That's my uniform you're disrespecting. Now this guy's pissed off, man. He's like going through his whole unit, disrespecting him. I never get involved with these guys. Honestly, I never see them. This is probably the most I've seen them in my entire life doing these videos. But what do you guys do if you see these guys rolling around? Do you confront them? Do you let them dig themselves deeper and enjoy the fantasy land? I don't know what I would do. Excuse me. Uh, Were you in the Navy? I've been serving seven years. Are yeah. oh, you still in the Navy? I'm retired. Right? Oh, yeah. what'd you do in the Navy? Was your MOS? South Vietnam, Cambodian, and Laos. Yeah. No. So that's a new MOS, right? So he was like Mac V Sog or CIA. So he was in South Vietnam. Okay, gotcha. Cambodia, Laos. So that was like really super secret squirrel stuff he's got going here so let's see maybe he's like a teal C uh, seal team seven or six or 20 something we don't even know about what work did you do in the navy 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 i i do Moscow. Oh, morse code oh morse code uh -huh. yeah. oh okay and what ship were you on Then. Now all of a sudden he doesn't speak English. He's like, no, I don't. No, I don't understand. Like you're in the Navy, you know the one word ship. <laughs> it's one thing you would know. Uh, air warfare. Yeah. This is a donation. They donation for me, you know. Oh, okay. This a uniform donation. Yeah, he strikes me as like a homeless guy. Maybe he rolled out of like the Salvation Army for the day, going back at night kind of thing. I wouldn't even think to ask the guy. I just think he was like using it for something to wear. That's all he had. Oh, do you have a VA card? No. Okay. You don't have a VA card? No. And you were in Here the we Navy for again. seven... Here we go again with the VA card guy. Like, if you had one, you're not breaking it out. You're probably going to punch the guy. So I guess that's why they ask. Yeah, seven years. I've been fighting in South Vietnam. Yeah. And you fought in South Vietnam. Yeah. Wow. Hey, for the Navy. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, don't get caught doing wearing that in the street because it's, yeah. a, it's a felony. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you go to prison, federal yeah. prison. Yeah. Yeah. That's once you're out of the military, you're not no longer allowed to wear a uniform unless either you're still doing stuff for the military or teaching ROTC. That's okay, David. All right, so if I were wearing my utilities out in town, right, from when I was in my BDUs, I don't think that's a felony. Would I do it? No. If I was out hunting, 
and I needed a pair of some hunting <laughs> camouflage. And I think this guy who's asking him is a little bit full of himself. American people, they don't like me. They want to send me back to Laos, to Vietnam, to Cambodia. And it's okay, you know. I'm free to go anywhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, but... I'm free to go. I don't like this country very much. That's why I, I'm okay, you know. You know, he doesn't like the country, but he hasn't gone back back to Laos, Cambodia, or Vietnam, wherever he's from. He just says, doesn't like the country. Well, they're not keeping you here. I guarantee you that. And he probably came here for a reason. He probably didn't like where he was at. So that is a spot that gets me right in the ass. These people don't like it here, but they left the country they were at because they didn't like it there either. So either go back or shut up about it. <laughs> they like they like me to go back to Laos. It's okay, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. All righty. Mm -hmm. All right, All right well, have a good day. Yeah, yeah. See you. Since when did you serve in the, in the military in the Marine Corps? Why are you asking me questions? Since when did you serve in the Marine Corps? This is a huh? That's my son. Now that guy could have just been a patriot. His dad was in the Marine Corps. Something. Apparently, maybe I'm guessing. You guys tell me. Put it in the comments. Ex girlfriend ex-girlfriend's friend because just had a eagle globe and anchors at semper fi maybe he's just a fan brother uncle whatever dad in the marine corps didn't strike me as someone i just start bothering at a bar let him have it have his good time guess what i will do to you mos i can hear you your mos i'm sorry <laughs> it's hard for me to okay what, what's your mos you know all of a sudden convenient loss of hearing right he thinks his wife's talking to him. He's like, what? I can't hear you, darling. But no, this guy's asking him a legit question. He's like, ah, but yet he's got earbuds in and was rocking out to whatever music. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, oh, I'm yeah. Sergeant. yeah. You're a sergeant? Right. Mm -hmm. No, Good you're job. MOS. That's your rank. <laughs> yeah. That's you're, my rank. Your MOS is a sergeant? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sergeant. Okay. Well, what unit are you with? Huh? What unit are you with? Unit. Your unit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, I'm part. It's kind of like Dan Bilzerian, a SEAL, not a SEAL, but really went to SEAL training twice. This guy's like a sergeant, but not a sergeant, but, you know, his MOS is sergeant. Deaf. Figure it's that out. Did you go into the Army partially deaf or no? Huh? Did you go into the Army partially deaf or no? No, I had an accident. Oh, you had an accident? You, are you still active? Huh? You're still active? No. No? You, you never had a cat card? What? Now, what the hell's a cat card? I think that's what he said i don't know what that is i'm assuming it's a new name for the military id that's my assumption guys tell me put that in the comments i'm sure the va card question's coming next i mean when they start asking that question the likelihood is they're not going to produce one otherwise they just say f off buddy i was in x leave me alone cat card tack cat you know card what, yeah cat card you know what a cat card is no never had a cat card uh-uh d214 DD-214? No, no. they stop doing that. You ever had one? Of course. You were in the Army? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, okay. All right. He's 11 Bravo Special Forces, okay. oh, unbloused boots, got on E-5 Sergeant rank with the name Stako on it. Now he's taking it off now. Ooh, I like that name, code name Stako. So this guy looks like he's pretty pissed. So why this veteran's chasing him down with his phone seems just like a bad idea. I mean, I don't know. I can't really tell from this crappy cell phone image. You know, no one carries a lanyard like that other pocket. If they did, somebody would probably say something. It was a military member. Doesn't have a cover on. You know, I'm sure he did. It looks like a turd. But I sure wouldn't chase a guy who's walking pretty aggressively to get away from you. Away from you. And he's pissed. Yeah, he's Oh, he's pissed because you got what? Not even matching. You got frack you top, regular ACU bottoms. I'd love to get a better view of this. Can you get away from me? Here we go. Sergeant E5 rank gray t-shirt. Get away from me. Stolen Valor at its finest. Take the name tape off. Yeah. Ask him what unit is in. He said 11 Bravo. Oh, you're first sergeant. I'm thinking these guys are all wearing it for the freebies. Like the guy at the bar, you know, check. The guy at the grocery store. So I think this video should have been called Veterans Discount Fakers. My first sergeant now at this time? At this time? I got a different sergeant, Sergeant Smith. First oh, sergeant Smith. first sergeant Smith? Right. Okay, and who's the sergeant major? Sergeant Mayhew, we get changed, oh, Macmillan. Yeah. 
Macmillan? Macmillan. That's a cool name. Okay. That's mm. a cool name. Your eyes are really red. Mm -hmm. You on medication? No. No? no you got your pill? Wait a second. Look, <laughs> he's got the fingerless gloves on. That is nice. And he looks like he's in like a Home Depot. He's going to go up and say, hey, I'm a vet. And they're not going to question it. Probably say, hey, do you have a veteran's ID or something? And uh, he doesn't, of course. But he's got his gear on with his fingerless gloves like the A-team. You know, he's Mr. T. I'm not in the like, army to give you pills. Yes. No. Your eyes are really red. That's the way they are all the time. Stone. Which is always red? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. Because um, So you don't take no pills, no medication for, like, no, you know, stuff to see? I know you've seen some crazy stuff, huh? No, no. I got no problems at oh, all. So you never went to, um, so you don't have PTSD? Oh, no. and you went to Desert Shield and... Desert Stone. You saw dead bodies. You know what? Well, yeah, I was there. Any of your friends died? Some got wounded. Not some killed. got wounded, not killed. That's good, that's mm -hmm. good. I was with a 773 detachment. 773 detachment, mm -hmm. like right. a weapon. Mm -hmm. Attachment, and I was detachment. Also the year after, I was mm -hmm. with the 720 tower. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a competition unit. So when's your next formation? Uh, just came back from some account for drum. Some Wait a second. He just said he came back from summer camp. All right, maybe that's an inner thing with uh, like intercollegial thing with the uh, reservists don't know give them the benefit of the doubt now the gloves though the dead giveaway and then summer camp i just don't see how that would apply you're a supply sergeant right now yeah. <laughs> roger that yeah. sounds right <laughs> he's a supply sergeant that, that's the uniform you wear this is the uniform and i got the regular color one but this is the one i like more better that's like oh and you're this allowed to wear oh, for, drum, oh, for drum you're allowed to wear that yes well, I'm Man. supposed to be working with either one. Yeah, of course. I know well, the. Nine, what regulation is that? What regula you know the regulation name for that? Yes. All right. These guys have asked in other videos I've done. Check in the description for these stolen valor videos. If somebody asks me a regulation, they tend to ask that. I have no idea. I wouldn't have an idea when I was in the Marine Corps what regulation it was about the uniform wearing. I know I had to wear the proper uniform. But what regulation? Do they teach that now, maybe, in the Army? Put that in the comments, because I never would have known such things. What regulation is it? Uh, For wearing uniform? Depending in the code. AR670-1. Code. Yeah. Okay. So you're in the military and you don't know that? No, because I, I used that long time ago. How long you been in okay. the Army? I'm not in the Army. No? Yeah. Just doing a school project? Yes. No, I got a beer. I can't be in the Army. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. You, Wonderful. You're in the Army. You shape. Let me see. <laughs> what? This guy's really playing into it with him. I think the faker's a little nervous. This guy's really playing it up. He's like, look at the shave. Wow. And he's going to break up the dog tags. Here we go. Let's see where he got those online. Look at dog tags. What is all that crap on there? Damn, you fly. All right. Come on. It's banning Eddie. Eddie W. Catholic is your religion. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. here you have it, folks. But it's nice, it's nice I like this guy. He's cool, man. He um. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking around you because no, I, I don't want to fucking. There's more people there. I don't. I don't want to. You know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when people. Uh, Some people fake, retire fake, too young. Fake things. They want to hurt They're somebody. Afraid. But you're older, <laughs> so I can't do that to you. You know. Mm -hmm. I this guy, Santiago, doesn't know the guy's shaking because he's so pissed off. I don't get that way about it. Now, if they're getting free stuff or begging for money and basically are thieves, you know, on the side of the road with a veteran sign, that does piss me off. I don't do anything about it, but I definitely, you know, give him a look. Real military person. Mm -hmm. I know you're not in the military. Mm -hmm. So for that, um, I'm also a cop. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And I know you're not in the military. Mm -hmm. and also, so what I'm going to ask of you right now is for you to take your uniform off. And um, I'm, in, I'm in the reserve. Now you're active, in the reserve. Active reserve, like I've been telling you. Active listen, reserve. Listen, okay. I'm a cop. Yeah, thank you. I have, it, I have it on record. Yes, that's good. Yeah, but I can take you to jail right now if I wanted to. But I'm an active reserve. Let me see, see the hat. Let me see the hat. My hat is Let me see. original. It was original? Original. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You see this? Mm -hmm. You, you're never gonna get it back. No, no, no. You no, you're not, because you're you're not you're not military. You don't do that. I do that. What did you say your MOS was? Well, I can't remember what all my papers said. I know I got. What your papers said? What? Well, that's what your job is in the military, honey. Your MOS. I just done whatever. You just. She doesn't know her MOS and her job was. She just did whatever. Sounds like a good MOS. So you know, one day you want a PT, the next day maybe you want to go diving. 
skydiving. I like the whatever MOS. If you guys ever had that whatever MOS, and put it in the comments what your, you know, top three things would be in that whatever MOS. I'm thinking maybe cold weather training, but skiing in Bridgeport, California. Maybe a little diving down in Puerto Rico, and then maybe jump on planes in uh, New Mexico. I don't know. What do you guys think? Whatever. When did you get your DD form 214? Whenever you first got in. Oh, yeah, that's where it was. Did they in. give you a DD form 214 when you first got in? You did? You're lying. You was never in the military. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Honey, if you was in the military and you just got discharged, you would know what I'm asking you. Okay, so that's, that's wrong that you would do that and take away from the veterans and those that have served. Well, I know what I was going to do. If you if you knew what you were in there for, you'd be able to tell me what the MOS was. Her well, MOS was WT. Um, I'm not sure how he found out she was a faker. Usually the fakers want the free stuff. She's already working at the fast food joint. This is interesting. Maybe she said she just was. Maybe she wants some extra handouts. Like, hey, you want to donate for veterans organization? Honey. Right? Uh, are you in the Army? No, I, no, I was in the Marine Corps. You're in the Marine Corps? Okay. Yeah, I was. Okay, where are we yeah, stationed at? Like uh, third Division, Pendleton. Camp Pendleton, okay. Yeah. I was, I'm actually from there too. Who's your first sergeant over there? Uh, so, 1st Marines is at Camp Pendleton, 1st Marine Division, 2nd's at Lejeune, 3rd is at Okinawa. So, right off the bat, he can't get his lies quite right. And he just looks like shit right here. I mean, I can't see his whole body yet, but, you know, none of that makes sense, the baggy shirt out. Now, he could be like a homeless dude kind of thing, drug addict, where he's just wearing it because that's what he's got. Cool with that. Let's hear his lies some more. No, I, I was a gunny. You were a gunny? Yeah. Okay. So, are you retired or? No. No, I, I got uh, Section 8. This show. <laughs> Section 8, I think, is a fiction from like MASH or something. I've never heard of a Section 8 beyond maybe MASH and Platoon. I think in Platoon I heard Section 8. Tell me you guys in the comments. Put that in the comments. Is that a real thing, Section 8? So you were a gunnery sergeant over there? Yeah. What pay grade is that? What? What pay grade is that? Is that like E6? It's a, no, it's a G9. G9, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, I got a school project. I hope you don't mind. I'm just, you know, I appreciate everything that you do. And so I was just wondering if I could record you because I'm over here doing documentaries. Well, I... I, I I can't because I actually I work for private contracting. You work for private right contracting, now. okay. So I don't know. I still, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, it, yeah. It just it gets this kind guy. Of, yeah. Oh, okay. Security purposes or is the that? Security what? Pur Yeah, I work. Uh, I do private security for nonprofit organizations. Okay. These are ACUs. Okay. These aren't. These aren't. Yeah. So he does private contracting for not-for-profit, so he's like a security guard at a gate somewhere, <laughs> I bet. That's probably true. You know, private contracting, they give him a 1099. He walks around the parking lot or, you know, get your money when you go to a park at a football game. Probably his contracting gig. Let's see. So, uh, Army, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, was, I was only in for a year. Blew out three. Wow, it's quick uh, to gunny. Three discs. Uh... But graduated from Cal State Fullerton, psych degree. Okay. Went to officer training. Okay. Uh, didn't quite so make it. To you were in the Marine Corps for a year? Uh, I made it out of boot. And that was about it. Okay. Okay. Right. So you got gunnery sergeant in a year? No, I was supposed to get a lieutenant. You're supposed to get a lieutenant. Because I went, I went, went to basic. OCS. Mm -hmm. and he just screwed up because he said OCS, then boot camp. Now he says basic, then OCS. So I don't know where he's going with this. I mean, he was a gunnery sergeant after a year. Bravo, brother. Supposed to be a lieutenant, but didn't make it. The story's all confusing. I'm watching it, like, closely. Uh, what MOS for, um, you said you were an officer. You're supposed to be a lieutenant, right? Oh, 211. Oh, 211. Wow. Uh, it's recon. 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 Okay. Mm. That's what I was going for. Oh, that's what you were going for with 211 recon. So you made gunnery. You were gonna make gunnery sergeant in a year. I was gonna make gunnery sergeant, okay. but I didn't. No. I, I didn't. know. Didn't make I, it. I enlisted. Went through boot. Jacked up my back. Uh, I, I didn't even make it into OCS. I got accepted. Okay. Uh, 
Boy, this guy's confusing as hell. First, he said he went to OCS in the boot camp. Then it was boot camp OCS. Then he didn't get into OCS. He wasn't quite a gunnery sergeant. Man, he's backpedaled more than any of these in the Stolen Valor Idiots program I've seen. Check in the description for uh, more of them because they're really good. You learn a lot about human psychology and picking out the liars. And most of them are really bad at it. Some are better than others. This one's terrible. Okay. Are those, those, are, are those dog tags? Is that what they call it? Yeah. The dog tags? Is that the one from Marine Corps? That's what they call it. No, these are the ones from my contracting company. For your contracting? Which yeah. company is that? I can't, I can't discuss that. I know you're recording. I know. I'm right. You know what Stolen Valor is? Yeah, I know it. You know it's federal offense, right? Yeah. Because you know I was actually in the Army and I have buddies in the Marine Corps that died wearing that? Yeah. Okay. So stop going around telling people you're in. You didn't make gunnery sergeant in one year, okay? You might have been in, but what you're doing right now is stolen valor, valor, and it's a federal offense. Okay, I have fucking people. Now, question for you guys. Do you think he was in anything, not including the Boy Scouts, but any military branch? I think the answer is no, because they wouldn't let him in because he was already a psych problem. It's my guess. You guys put in the comments what you think he was in, what branch. I don't think the Marine Corps, we had some really big rocks in there, but I don't think he'd even make it. I died wearing that, all right? So don't go, don't go around here telling people you're in. You got that? I got mm. that. All right, so I want you to go home right now, take that fucking shit Watch off, all right? That. People died wearing that fucking uniform. Don't tell me you were in the Marine Corps or anything like that, all right? Family members of mine died. Family members of yours, fine, but not you, all right? You didn't earn that, all right? You gotta this guy's earn that pretty shit. good. Don't let me see you around here anymore, or I swear to God, I'm gonna call the police over here. That's a federal offense, all right? Stolen valor. Okay. All right? All right. I better not see you around. Get out of my face. Don't post that. Give this guy a little respect. At least when he was busted, he just said, okay. Didn't backpedal anymore. Just said, all right, I gotta go. Don't post it. And was done. Um, don't, uh, don't parse that. Uh, there'll be some legal so, ramifications. Okay, what's the, uh, well, this is public property, actually. Fucking fake ass fucking somebody with a fucking Colonel patch on his hat. Fucking go fake ahead. ass wannabe. Who are you with again? I'm sorry. So you were. Now, I've never seen an officer, no less a Colonel, with like a hat, like a. With a Velcro patch, and he throws a colonel rank on it in this fashion, you know. He, a, he's too young to be a colonel unless he's really aged well. And the hat with the patch that says colonel, no. Colonel, mm -hmm. and then you decided at the end of your fucking your uh, officer career that you decided you wanted to be you a SEAL. Then you went from fucking colonel to SEALs, decided to be a SEAL for a while, and then ended up in the CIA where you're at now, which is where you're telling people at Guido's fucking taco shop <laughs> here in fucking Gilbert. <laughs> So nobody's going to go from, I'm a colonel, uh, now you have to get out of the regular military, right? Got to get out of the army, I guess he was in, because he wasn't in the Navy as a colonel. He gets out, he enlists now, or maybe he got a commission in the Navy. All right, possible. But let's say he went in as a lieutenant colonel, whatever it is in the Navy, I can't remember. He's not going to SEAL training that old. So his story is so deep into crap that... He can't probably remember, but he was probably using the military thing for some free booze. That's my question for you. How much free booze do you think he garnered as a faker at this bar? I bet you a lot. Fucking uh, Chandler or wherever yeah, we're Yeah, I run my mouth too much, like I said. Oh, okay. So guys in the CIA, they typically talk a lot, right? Because they're just like the most secretive fucking unit in the world. And you guys are just <laughs> saying, you're just out here. It's just some fucking secret agent. Which you ended up talking to one of my buddies from Fox 21 in this place, telling him that you were in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Somalia just recently. And having a kid, uh, kids are easy, man. Once you go to Iraq and Afghanistan and all these other things, you're good, right? That's what you... You know, as you figure Somalia, I think around 93-ish, 94... Iraq, Afghanistan, let's assume he went to the more recent one, probably a three through, could have been current period. I doubt any of that. I mean, you know, he was a colonel. Let's talk about that to begin with. So the story, the webs we weave here in this story. Hold him, right? Is that not what you said? Or you don't want to talk now? You want to say nothing now? No? no. Uh -uh. What's your name, Colonel what? Jessup. Nothing. Yeah, Colonel Nothing. Doesn't exist. New to the channel, thanks for stopping by. For my current subscribers, as you know, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.